All right, close poll and share results. So out of 87 attendees, these are the results. Okay, that's good to know because as we'll get to in a second, in order to represent anyone before the VA in a veteran's benefits claims, you have to be accredited, and we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, let's go to the third one, please. All right, a couple more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and close poll. Share results. Okay, this is actually great. I was slightly concerned that if other people had been on the call that had more experience in the area that they may be left bored. But this is perfect. It seems like we're pretty much all on the same page in terms of not handling veterans' benefits cases, but likely are just very interested in looking at how this can apply to you. So again, I encourage you at the end of the presentation to contact me if there's other information that we weren't able to get to that you think would be useful for your practice, and we can always talk about setting up another kind of training. And also, since, since many of us here are, are new practitioners or are foreign to the world of veterans' benefits, please feel free to do raise questions or let me know if I'm speaking too quickly or if something, I used an acronym that didn't make sense, et cetera. So we're going to hold off on question four until the end. Let's just go ahead and get started. Okay. Uh, Here we go. In typical presentation style, we're going to start with our agenda. I'm going to begin with an embarrassingly cursory overview of the Department of Veterans Affairs. 